Good morning and welcome to this week's edition of First Look. We're so glad that you're here today on this very special Sunday in which we celebrate three decades of leadership of our pastor, Dr. Don Wilton and his precious wife, Karen. Before we begin today's service, let's take a moment just to take a look at what's going on here at First Baptist Spartanburg. Basketball season is already underway here at FBS, and if you're interested in being an assistant coach or a referee for FCA Kids Basketball here on campus, then we'd love to have you. Contact the Recreation Department for more information and to get involved today. Ladies, mark your calendars for fun, fit, and fabulous coming up on January 28th, Saturday, right here on campus. Enjoy a morning of fellowship focused on nutrition, physical flexibility, and spiritual strength. For more information, head to fbs.org backslash women. Don't forget that during December, regularly scheduled Wednesday night activities for youth, kids, and preschoolers are not meeting. These activities will resume their normal schedules in January. Families, we want to encourage you to take some time on Wednesday nights to spend time together celebrating the Savior's birth in brand new ways. Christmas on Main Street continues tonight at 4 p.m. in the sanctuary with keyboards and carols. Come enjoy some of your favorite songs from Christmas played by an ensemble of musicians on grand pianos and the pipe organ like you've never heard it before. This event is free and open to the public. And next week, Join us for Carols by Candlelight at 4 p.m. in the sanctuary. This classic Christmas concert is a wonderful way to kick off the Christmas week. Join our sanctuary choir, orchestra, and praise team as they lead us to the manger and we celebrate the birth of our King. As we enter into worship together, we invite you to join us following the service in the dining hall for a reception where you can shake hands and give a hug to the Wilton family. Many of you know that I had the incredible privilege of being on staff here at First Baptist when Dr. Don was called to be our pastor nearly 30 years ago. I did a little math to try and discover just what an impact Dr. Don has had on the body of Christ here at Spartanburg First Baptist Church. When you consider all of the messages that he has shared, Sunday morning, Sunday night, Wednesday night, youth retreats, choir tours, young at heart trips, children's sermons, Wilton 101, leadership training to our staff, our deacons, our life group leaders, not to mention the deep personal ministry of weddings, funerals, baby dedications, baptisms, ordinations, and even one-on-one -on -one counseling. All in all, I stopped counting after about 5,000 different messages from God's Word to us, the body of Christ over the last three decades. Wow! It would be nearly impossible to try and narrow down all the wisdom and the knowledge that we have gained over these past 30 years from the leadership and teachings of our pastor. But I'm going to give it a try anyway. There's one message that Dr. Don shared early in his ministry here at First Baptist that set the stage for the next 30 years, and I'll never, ever forget it. This truth impacted me so much that it has followed me in every aspect of my life, personally, with my family, and with my ministry in every role that I've ever had. I remember Dr. Don sharing a powerful message from God's Word, telling us that it, His Word was so chock full of absolute truths, strongly suggest, and personal preferences. His promise to our church was to study God's Word and deliver it to us in such a way that we would know the difference between the three. And there's nothing in my life that has been more impactful than knowing that I know the absolute truths of God's Word. And for that, Dr. Don, on behalf of myself, my family, my children, my grandchildren, my friends, and if I could be so bold to say this entire body of Christ, I say thank you and may God bless you in a very special way as he leads you to what is next in your ministry journey. Now, let's prepare our hearts to worship the Lord together. 